Hey buddy, Ryan here from Android Coliseum. Doing something with my son here. Something he was really excited, I told him about the other day, that he was excited for his own Chromebook. So we're going to try it out on this Chromebook. This is that new Asus we're trying out. Um, so what are we looking up, Dean? Minecraft Education Edition. I'm more like PC than anything. So before, uh, during COVID, uh, the school was using Minecraft uh, Education Edition but Dean had a Chromebook and was left out of the fun. But now Minecraft Education is now available on Chromebook. So we're just going to kind of go through how to install it. All right, so you go to Minecraft. And I'll put the links in the website. Uh, and you just got to go to their Minecraft or Education. We just Googled it. <laughs> there we go. Let's go scroll down. Let's go down. You're too far. Download for Chromebook. All right. So essentially what happens is you download it for Chromebook. Click it, right? And it just brings you to the Play Store because Chromebooks now run on the Play Store. Now this is specific to just Chromebooks. This isn't for, so you can't get this on your phones or tablets. This is just for, for Chromebooks. Now whether it's optimized specifically for the Intel architecture or whatever it is, you just won't find it. You'll just find the regular Minecraft mobile edition, okay? So let's go ahead and open. It literally was that long to figure it out. And now he's able to join all his friends who were on PC or on PlayStation, etc. No, um, only Education Edition because those are different. Bedrock, only people with consoles, mobile, or Windows 10. Anything else with Java, and if it's, it says in it's for school, it's Education Edition. So okay. you're wrong. And if if you understand that, I'm sure you're you're of age to understand all that. So I'll get my son to log in, and we'll play around on a sec. Okay, so we're back. So Dean remembered his password and logged in. And made sure he didn't save it into my my Chromebook. So um, so now we're into you know Minecraft for education. So what is the big difference, Dean? That you know why would this be the important thing for you to have versus regular Minecraft? Because I don't like playing on phones because it just changes like the so what's the big difference Dean with my Minecraft Education Edition versus um, other Minecraft like there are some good things where it has different blocks there are some problems with it with Java and Bedrock you can't I mean with Education Edition and Bedrock you can't really go into past updates with normal Java, you can. What does that mean? Uh, basically, say 1.4, or I can go, in Java, I can go back to 1.1. Oh, so you can go back to older editions. So yeah. This is always going to be the most up-to-date yeah. version. Yeah. So what is it used for? Like, why do they have education edition? Just to, like, teach kids, I guess, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> if it's Minecraft, they're going to have fun. Yeah, but Either. they're going to be learning while they do it. So, like, is there stuff that the teachers can do that you guys can like, do? Like, there are some, if you go into world, there are templates that the teacher can show, but they can mm. create their own, and that would be fun. And didn't you guys, you guys made a, a model of your school, right, at one point? Yes, and we only oh. had a time limit for, like, an hour, and we barely got anything done. Okay. What what can you do on here? Can you anything you can show us? Um it's not one point sixteen. My big thing about building is one point sixteen and um I like to refer as one point sixteen one hell of update and not the nether update. What I'm right. Why is my sensitivity so low? Just give me a second. Uh Keyboard seventy. That's good. Um. So this is so good. Um. So the difference is in normal Minecraft, you do not have these permission blocks. All I know how to work is border. Why isn't it, it, it not letting me click? I am clicking and it won't let me. Button two. 
Yeah, they're in loving place. What fun to do? Oh. Well, we were not used to this mouse on yeah. this one here. This was one of those gamer mouses where we'll figure it out. <laughs> Probably more buttons to play around with. Yeah, but, but anyways, you and now it's on Chromebook. You don't have to worry about missing out if they're on, you know, their, you know, I'm just gonna HP put tablets or whatever they're on now. Okay, so that's uh, the Minecraft for Education Edition. What do you say, Dean? How many stars out of stars do you give it? Um, just for right now. Five out of ten because it's not letting me place blocks. <laughs> okay, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, thanks, okay. everybody. We'll talk to you later.